It's finally here, the date when Cardano becomes a fully functioning smart contract platform. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video we'll talk about the upcoming Alonzo mainnet hard fork, we'll talk about the exact date when the mainnet goes live and then we'll look at some possible price scenarios for the next few weeks. Of course, none of this is financial advice and you should only invest money that you can afford to lose. One more thing before we dive in, I'm currently working on a membership site where you can get tons of super valuable information such as trading analysis, on-chain analysis, trading signals and the newest gems. Now, there will be a limited super early bird option that our newsletter list gets access to first. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to go to the description now and subscribe to my newsletter so that you can be the first to be notified when the super early bird is live. All right, let's dive in. All right, so yesterday IHK made the announcement in their Gogwen Alonso development update. So let's quickly look at that na right now. So let's share the projected date for the mainnet hard fork when we deploy Plutus capability on Cardano. Right, Tim. Um, once we've hard forked the test net, it gives us this period of stability where we can test it and also our exchanges can test it. As our exchanges are testing it, we'll have our smart contract exercises running on it um, and our various community members also using it. And then we have, we have to make sure that we're ready and we'll submit a proposal for our mainnet hard fork. And we will also package it up with our Plutus application backend so that we can have a complete smart contract release ready for people to use our full smart contract toolbox ready for the Alonzo hard fork. And this is the date that we're aiming at. Monday, September the 12th. All right, Monday, September the 12th. That's what they said. That's when the Alonzo mainnet finally goes live. Now I see two possible scenarios here. One is that this is a kind of buy the hype, sell the news scenario where the price will skyrocket until September 12th or until like just a day or two before that. And then after that, it will get a correction. It will come down a bit before all those smart contracts are finally running on top of it and finally using Cardano. So this is the first scenario. The second is, that it will stay calm for a little longer so it will stay at those levels where it is now the price the press will stay calm there and then it will really take off after the main it has launched me personally i think the first scenario is more likely to happen because this is what usually happens with hard forks or with big events so we'll look at two other hard forks one is the mary hard fork that has happened on cardano a few months ago and then we'll also look at the london hard fork that has just happened on ethereum a few days ago so we'll compare those two and we'll see what could happen with the price in the next few weeks all right first let's first look at the mary hard fork which was on march 1st all right, here we have it, March 1st, and the price there was at about 130. Yeah, so so the highest it went was, so that was that week up there, that was uh, almost 150, 149, and that was on February 27th. So that was two days before that, and that was the highest it went. Now, we are currently one month before the Alonzo main at Hard Fork. So let's go one month back and look at what happened there. Okay, so let's look at February 1st. Okay, February 1st, this candle started at 33 cents. So in that month prior to that hard fork, it did a 4X in the of, of the price. So it went from about 33 cents up until 149, almost 150. So that's a pretty insane increase, more than a 4X. But what you can see on the actual date of the hard fork, it did a bit of a correction. And then even after that, it did a correction and it went sideways for quite a bit until it eventually went higher in May. So that was almost, so it started in April, but that was about one and a half months later. So that's a probable scenario for this hard fork as well, in my opinion. I'm not sure if we will also have that 4x, that would be pretty insane. We would be at over $8 if that was the same scenario. Pretty crazy in my opinion. It is possible. So also if we look at the market caps, so Cardano is now at number three. It has just overtaken Binance Coin with a market cap of 69 billion, almost 70 billion. So a 4X from here would bring it up to about 280 billion. So that wouldn't even make it number two. It wouldn't even overtake Ethereum with that. So that is possible. 
I'm not sure if it really will happen. I see, what I could see more realistically is something around $3. So that would be a bit over the last all-time high of $2.40. But if the same happens as, bef as it did before the Mary Hard Fork, that would bring us to over $8. Pretty crazy. Now, let's look at another hard fork that has just happened recently on the Ethereum. On Ethereum and that is the London hard fork that has happened on August 5th. All right, now August 5th, let's look at that. That was here. So the price started at $2,721 for Ethereum that day. And what's interesting here is it isn't the exact same scenario that Cardano had before the Mary hard fork. So you can see if we go a month back, so that would be July 5th. You can see that it wasn't that much lower. It was at $2,300. And then it actually had a correction before it went higher. And that mainly had to do with the, the market scenario overall. So the market was still in a bit of a sideways or even a downtrend. And then on, on July 21st, that's when the whole market started to pick up again. And Ethereum just didn't stop from there. So this is a bit of a different scenario. So it actually, the uptrend only started about two and a half weeks before the actual hard fork took place. But the interesting thing is that it didn't stop on August 5th. So that was here, but it just kept going higher. So that's another probable scenario that will just have like a ladder like this one. It does look a bit different from Cardano right now. I'll just go back to that in a minute, but that's another possible scenario. So it might go sideways from now for a little bit, and then it will just go up and up and up. And that was from, $1,791 and it went up to, so yeah, we're now at the high right now at about $3,300. So that would be about a 2x from uh, that bottom here. So even if we took that as a possible scenario, we would be at over $4 by the time the main it goes live. Still pretty crazy in my mind because I had something like $3 in my mind, but we'll see what happens. That would be really exciting, definitely. But if we'll go back to the uh, Cardano chart, you can see it looks a bit different. So you can see that does look a bit different from the Ethereum chart. You can also see that ladder that actually started on July 21st as well. And you can see that ladder going upwards, but here we've really got a bit of that blow off top, you could almost say. And it's been really blowing up since since then, since, um, since it broke through those moving averages. So we'll see. I'm not sure if we will increase like that for the next month. That would be a bit unhealthy. It's better for it to go up and then take a bit of a break, you know, go sideways for a little bit and then go higher. So yeah, we'll see. I could see it taking a break for a day or two now that the announcement is out. But after that, I'm pretty sure that it will go higher until the mainnet is finally live. We'll see how high it could go. These are the possible scenarios that I see. I'm really excited to see what will actually happen just before the mainnet and also once the mainnet is live. All right, what do you guys think? Where will the price go in this next coming month until the main deck goes live? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter to have access to the super early bird for our membership that will come live in a few weeks from now. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.